You are watching We Merge TV, brought to you by We Merge Magazine. My name is Renda Ryder, and I am here today with two people, Peter Simmons and Leah Brown. They are the owners of the 18 Rabbit Gallery here in downtown Fort Lauderdale. We're here at their event called the Art of Music Networking Event. Everyone's having a good time. The night is wrapping up, and I figured I'd take a few minutes to, to talk to the owners of the establishment and see what their secret of success is. So, Peter, we'll start with you. Tell us about this gallery. Where did this come from? We're at 18 Rabbit Gallery, but it wasn't always 18 Rabbit Gallery. I imagine it was once just a vacant warehouse. How did it become your dream? Well, um, it wasn't always 18 Rabbit. It was a vacant warehouse. Actually, it uh, was a homeless shelter, and then it was a uh, printing press, and um, it was lots of things. But when we... Uh, we got the opportunity to open up a gallery here. We moved down to Florida from Brooklyn, New York, where, and we wanted to sort of create an arts community down here. We wanted, you know, a place where like-minded people or creative people could hang out, and we wanted to sort of foster a community down here that gets something going in Fort Lauderdale. So that's always been your goal, to get, get the community going here in the area. And bring some of that Brooklyn spirit with you, I guess, huh? All right. So, Leah, is it working? I think it is working. We, we have a great group of core people that come out to a lot of our events and um, we keep seeing new faces for everything we do and it's, it's, it's really wonderful to see how many creative types are actually here and how many people want to become involved in the community. Totally. It, it takes desire first. The people have to want to get out there and do something and then you provide them with something to do. Here's the gallery and here's the events. Now what what uh, have been some of your more successful events that you've done here or some of the highlights from your time here at this space? Uh, well, I think that some of the highlights actually um, come both during the, the visual art exhibits um, and then also during our weekly figure drawing night. Every Tuesday from 7 to 10 we do figure drawing and it's a really, really wonderful group of people that come out and, and practice life drawing. Um, and somehow that has kind of formed our base community that everything has sprung from. That's cool. So you got one successful night and you're kind of building from there and getting your crowd going from, from that. Absolutely, but it's also the artists. I mean, it's, it's, it really is the artists themselves that make this space what it is. If, if we didn't have good artwork in here, we wouldn't have a space at all. And um, so it's just by getting these real firecracker artists who are pushing the boundaries of what they do and what other people perceive as art that make it something different and something that other people find enjoyable. And I notice you guys do a lot of installation pieces, you do sculpture, you do some very avant-garde stuff. You're not just throwing paintings on the wall and saying, here's the art. So, Peter, tell us a little about that. How do you find all these different artists? I mean, I know a lot of the artists in the community, but you guys always seem to bring out these artists that we haven't heard of, but like we feel like we should have by now. Well, um, we find our artists through a lot of different ways. Sometimes, you know, people get in touch with us and what, and if they're doing something really interested, we're definitely interested in supporting them. And we also, because we've both been involved in the arts for, you know, however long we've been involved in the arts. Forever? You know. <laughs> but, um, you know, we have know people along the way and we know people who were really into their work and we're interested in showing people who we're excited about. And, you know, it is sometimes installation work, it is sometimes video work, it is, you know, it's, it's, uh, it runs the gamut. Yeah. But it's also not all local artists. We really love the local art scene here. It's really vibrant and we have Miami as a huge influence, but Peter and I have been bouncing up and down the East Coast for the past 10 years. And um, it's really through that experience that we've met so many emerging artists who are willing to put themselves out. I mean, despite the high cost of shipping their artwork or shipping themselves to make the artwork in our space, it's really getting these creative spirits from all over the country that is, you know, is that's why you haven't heard of them before because they're emerging in New Jersey or Philadelphia and they wouldn't have a reason to come here if there wasn't a space that was welcoming to them. If it wasn't for you guys, basically. <laughs> Ding. <laughs> kind of, no, that's cool. That's, I mean, that's personally what I think distinguishes you guys because you are loyal to the community and the local art scene, but you really bridge the gap and you, you show people the national scope of what art has to offer. So what's next here? What's going on next at the gallery? 
Well, the next exhibition we have here, um, beginning March 26th, is Jonathan Brilliant. Um, he is a, an installation artist uh, working out of South Carolina, but he's on a world tour right now. He, he really has started to make um, a world name for himself. He works with tens, sometimes hundreds of thousands of coffee stir sticks, the little six-inch Starbucks coffee stir sticks, yeah. um, that he, he weaves together until they become something much larger than themselves, um, something kind of like cloth or like a bird's nest, very organic. Um, if you know the, the artist Andy Goldsworthy, um, he's drawing a lot of influences from that artist, and um, but really, really is making a name for himself with these stir stick pieces. So he is um, going to be creating a site-specific installation here in the gallery over the course of 10 days. Um, and then on March 26th, um, we'll have the grand opening for that show. But of course, everyone is welcome to come and see his process over those 10 days. because Everyone's welcome. The process. They do encourage the process, too. The final result, the process. That, these guys are really two people that you should know. And they're a couple, too. And in WeMerge, we've written a few articles about different couples. And, and personally, I've always taken an interest in the way uh, relationships play into the art world. And two people together doing it. So for a second, tell us about that. I mean, you guys are a couple. You're together. You're in the same line of work. You share, you share the same passion for art comment on that for a minute um well we've been together for um nine years yeah. and um you know we've been together ever since we met when we were going to uh undergraduate school at the rhode island school of design so you know we've we've uh learned to deal with each other and not strangle each other i guess but it's been good it's been very good to have somebody who you know supports what you're doing and i support what she's doing so we're we help prop each other up that's good. It sounds like a key to success. I mean, it is hard to find support, and if you can find it in your significant other, like these guys have so well, then you're doing all right. So we're here at 18 Rabbit Gallery. We're signing off, but check them out at 18rabbitgallery.com any day of the week and stop in. What's your address real quick? 16 Northwest 1st Street. That's Fort Lauderdale, Florida, 33301. There it is. So stop in and say what's up to Leia and Peter. Check out the art on the walls and give them a call at... 828, that's North Carolina, that's where I'm from, 279-1481. There you go, the North Carolina area code. Hit them up, and thanks for watching We Merge TV.